I'm not sure I like the term moving in, so I'm just gonna say that I'm gonna set up my new planner. Hi everybody, today I'm going to be setting up my new Erin Condren for the academic year, July 2019 through June 2020. 2020, holy shit, time goes by fast. Insert cliches here. Like I said in the intro, I'm, I'm not, I think the phrase moving in feels a little weird to me, especially now that I don't really use the monthly calendar for future planning. I do a, I do a Google calendar for that. I mean, it makes you think of Billy Joel and like moving up. Do, 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 do. Anyway, sorry, coffee. So today I'm going to be getting this planner set up. This is the Erin Condren Neutral Horizontal. The cover I have on it is actually the one that came in the seasonal surprise box. I really love this cover. And since I have a rose gold coil, I thought it would be really pretty. I have a kaleidoscope cover. Many of you know, I love the shit out of that pattern. I'm actually sitting on the Sherpa right now, the Sherpa throw of that pattern, but I figured it's summer, might as well use this. So let's get into it. Now I have not done anything in here yet. I have actually put post-it notes in for the thing things I know I want to do. So we'll just go through that and see how things go. And I'll talk about what I've done this year in my current planner. And if you're interested in seeing a flip through of that planner, let me know in the comments below and I will flip through it at a later date sometime in July. So now I normally don't write my name in it. Swear to God, this is like not something I've done. It's funny, you know, I've written people's names in their planners so often, uh, like things like go wild and other planner events, people ask me to put their name in their planner. And like, here's mine doesn't have my name in it. But I think this time I'm gonna write my name in it because why the fuck not? And instead of in black, I think I'm gonna write it in gray to make it match. Matchy, matchy. I'm gonna use the gray brush mild liner. Fuck yeah. Pretty nice, wrote my name, hell yeah. As for these, I think this is really pretty, but I never, I never look at this. There are actually certain sections in here I never usually use, and I'm gonna try and use them this year. I have been doing a lot of kind of peeking at what other people are doing to try and figure out ways to use some of the different sections to at least give them a try. I may not stick with it, I probably won't, knowing myself, but I'm gonna give it a shot. And the first thing I'm gonna do was actually a suggestion several of you made in my mid-month bullet journal check-in, and that is to move my pain tracker from my bullet journal to my Erin Condren. Because my bullet journals, one notebook does not last me an entire year. I am currently in my second notebook of this year and I will likely have at least one more, if not two. I don't like moving my pain tracker. Like I've done that before and it's just annoying. Some of you guys have suggested tippins. I just don't like how that, I just don't like the feel of that. I've tried using my old bullet journal, which is what I've been doing this month and it's in my drawer next to me and I never remember to take it out. And to be fair, I've been pretty much on painkillers consistently this month, so there hasn't been a lot to track. I think I'm gonna use this section for a pain tracker. Now, here's what I'm gonna do. I'm going to use the Chrissy Ann Designs transparent dots for my pain tracker, same general system that I've used in the bullet journal. And then I think I wanna cover this up because I don't need these months. I just wanted to go for the life of the planner because I'm gonna use this planner all year. At least that's what I've done the last couple of years. I've been in the same, like this is my current planner that I'm still wrapping up for this year. And if you noticed, I have used it the entire year. So it makes sense to keep this in my Erin Condren rather than my bullet journal because my bullet journal, one notebook is not enough for a whole year for me. All right, I kind of want to decorate this or like put like a postcard here or something, but I don't know what I want to do there yet. So I'm not going to worry about that, but I am going to keep this sticker with it purely because I know that once I figure out what I'm going to put here, I kind of want to stick one of my shitty kidney decals from Chrissy Ann Designs right on it. So I'm just going to paper clip this puppy in so I don't forget that it exists. And in the meantime, I'm gonna set up my pain tracker. Now here's how I'm gonna do it. I have these transparent dots in like the rainbow, but I actually already ordered sheets of individual colors. And I know I'm gonna use the pink, the green, and the purple. I'm pretty sure I ordered extra purple. So we'll make purple be the painkiller, chicka painkiller, the green be a pain day. What do I call it in my, pa my pain tracker? My labels are regular ass day, shitty pain, but I didn't take a painkiller and took a painkiller. And so those are the things I am going to put in here and I'll just put them across the top here.
This is one spread down. Let's move forward. Now this is another one I never fucking use. And who did I see do this? I actually took a screenshot because I saw somebody in We Love EC post this. Who was it? So it was Jessica Fell. I had seen several people, they put like the, you know, the um, the months on here and do something. And when I was trying to use this for budget planning, which I'll talk about that in a hot minute, it did not happen the way I wanted it to. But Jessica used this as a cleaning chart and each one of these is a different area of her house. Well, I don't actually want to do a cleaning chart because fuck that, <laughs> but we have so many little projects around the house and outside of the house that need to get done. And we're actually making progress on them. In the past, I've put them in the bullet journal and I haven't ever referenced it again. But if I'm gonna be going back here every day to add my pain in, then if I put them here, that might help me, especially because we are actually working on a lot of these projects and I'm starting to get overwhelmed. So what I'm gonna do is separate this into different sections of our house. And I will put some of the projects I have off the top of my head on there and I will go back through with my husband while we are on vacation and make some more notes. And then I will uh, let you guys know, I'll show you a picture on Instagram or something, you know, assuming I ever post on Instagram again, of what, um, of what this looks like. But let's start with, I think I should use some washi tape here to decorate this. I feel like this needs a little something. I think I'm gonna cover this top up because I don't really think that matters. That's not really part of what I wanna do. And then I'm gonna utilize these washies. The purple is kind of in the same color family and it's got the rose gold to match the coil because I wanna be matchy matchy. But yeah, I'm gonna start by just whiting out this so I can put some washi on top of it. This pen, by the way, is the Pentel uh, Sign Brush pen in gray. I wanted to write in gray instead of black. It didn't bleed through, it shadowed, but it didn't bleed. I also have the Kelly Create small brush pens, but that gray's a little warmer and I wanted this one to match. So this is basically our layout. Note, my house is tiny. Like we have an 1100 square foot house. So like the kitchen is the kitchen and the dining area. The living room and the office are actually the same big room, but we count them kind of differently. And we only have one other closet besides the linen closet that isn't like in the bedrooms and that's full of wine, so I'm not messing with that. So I'm gonna go through quickly and just write in projects for each of these that I know exist off the top of my head before I even begin to brainstorm with my husband. All right, here is where we're at. So up at the top here, I put house projects, which is the whole spread. And then these two are actually for the whole house. We need to replace all of the old crappy doors and jam, like the door frames. And we need to go around each window and clean up the trim. It's they When they put the windows in in this house, they did shitty plastic trim as opposed to the wood. And so we just need to yank out the plastic, put in the wood and then paint which is something that's been on our list to do. We just haven't gotten to it, but that's for the whole house. So I didn't want to put them in any of these. Each of these has several projects. There's also more I'm not remembering right now. This is the life of being a homeowner, my dudes. I know there are some of these for sure we want to get done this summer. The beadboard in the kitchen, um, repainting. I need to paint the accent walls in both my kids' rooms. Katie just wants to get rid of the accent wall because the color is so dark. And RJ wants to refresh his because I did kind of a poor job painting it. I didn't get enough paint and so it's kind of patchy looking. So that's been on my list as well. And I forgot to put that we're replacing their light fixtures. The kitchen is probably gonna get the most attention this summer and the outside. When the painting is done, we wanna start work on the landscaping as well. We bought a hoarder house and we're doing almost all of this ourselves and with the help of our friend. So it's slow going, but I feel like we've made a lot of progress in the two years we've lived here and we're continuing to make progress. So I'm proud of that. I love how this turned out though. I really do. I wanna keep looking at it, no lie. This note page that's at the beginning or the end of every month, I guess it could be the beginning of every month or the end. How would you refer to that, I guess? 
Looks like it's the beginning of every month. I don't know what to do with this yet. So I'm gonna leave that alone for now because I didn't even think about it. Moving forward, <laughs> as you can see, here is the month. And again, I found some inspiration. Well, I have so much shit on my desk, P.S. I have been trying to figure out, like I saw Lakin, she just taped these pages together because she didn't want to use them, but I want to give them a try. And so here is what I'm thinking about doing. So on this page, Jen McIntosh actually put, uh, like post-it notes here to divide it into columns. Hers is the colorful, so it looks slightly different, but I, and there's no dot grid, but I love the idea of this. And so I was thinking about doing this for like things I wanna work on art-wise over the month. Like what paintings do I want to work on? Are there new skills I wanna work on? Or classes I wanna take on like Skillshare or something like that. So that's what I'm considering doing for this. I'm not quite sure yet. As for this side, uh, the top three are going to be my top three things I want to take care of in the month when it comes to my life, like whether it's business, personal, family, whatever the case may be, kind of pulled from my power sheets, basically the top priorities to reiterate them. For this, it's the books I want to read in the month. For this will be, I want to start sending snail mail. A lot of you guys have sent me great things to my PO box and I need to go through and show some of those, but I need to start sending my own mail out just because I need to get, A, get over my issues with the post office and B, I just, I want to send, I have a bunch of cute postcards and shit. I'd love to send them. So I want to make a list of people that I want to send snail mail to. Here, I want to reiterate the focus from my bullet journal and from my power sheets. And as I'm not, I haven't done either of those yet for next month, what I'll do is just put focus. And then when I do those, I'll bring it over here. And then, yeah, like, so that's what I'm thinking about doing. Now, one of the things I saw was using like some of the stickers from the back to kind of cover things up. And I think that's what I'm gonna do to use them. I wanna use them up. Like I never touch the stickers in the back of my planner. I've already used three, look at me. So maybe these ones, I could always find different ones too. It doesn't have to be from in here, but well, this is a start, I guess. Now, again, this may work, this may not work. If this doesn't work, I may do what Lakin did and just, oh, there's four, top four. Just kidding. <laughs> I might do what Lakin did and just tape the pages together. But for now, I wanna give this a try. I do, I want to try this puppy out and see if I can make it work for me. Like I realized this last year, as I started using the Google Calendar for forward planning, that I wasn't looking at my monthly spread anymore, which used to be like the joy of my planner. And so I really want to attempt to use these for things that might be helpful. And if it doesn't work, then it doesn't fucking work. But why not give it a shot instead of having a bunch of unused paper in my planner? Okay, so here is kind of how I've set it up. So art, learn, and teach, AKA what do I wanna create? What do I wanna learn? And what do I wanna teach? Whether on my YouTube or Skillshare or on my Patreon group. This'll probably be light this month because of finishing the book. Actually, they'll probably all be light this month because of finishing the book. Um, and I'm also getting surgery at the end of the month. I got it scheduled, it's scheduled for the 23rd. So who knows, but I will use this and I will fill this in later when I have a chance to think about it. So this will be snail mail. And I would like to like decide now how many people, maybe four, five, how many weeks are there? I'm putting right here, the war of art because I have still not finished it and I've been working on it for what seems like forever. But I'm, I'll look at my other books and everything. This will all get filled out soon and I will make sure to show this during at the beginning of my next plan with me or maybe um, the first plan with me in here or on Instagram, something. I will show you this filled out and then we'll see how it works over the month. But that will be these pages. Now next for the monthly, like I said, I haven't been using it for future planning because I use Google Calendar for that now. And I was gonna use this for budgeting, but my husband and I actually have been talking about budgeting and doing bills together. And honestly, he has a great system on his computer. So I just sit with him and watch it and filling it out on paper wasn't helping me. So I'm not gonna bother with that. Instead, what I'd like to do is try and start planning my meals out a month in advance. That would be fabulous. Or at the very least tentatively fill it out in a month in advance. And I think that this will be the only page that I fill out in pencil because what I can do is do a basic meal plan for the whole month and then adjust it every week as it comes. But I think, that this might be a way to help me stop getting in a rut when it comes to same recipes over and over again. 
So instead, I'm not gonna fill this out yet because I haven't actually sat down and done it yet, but what I am gonna do is just write meal plan across the top here. If you'd like to see me try and do this, if you want me to document my first attempt to do a month worth of meal plans, let me know and I'll make a video of it when I do it. But I wanna do it kind of when the kids are here, which will be next week because then they can have some say in it. And this would just be for dinners. I don't generally plan breakfasts or lunches, even in the summer. I just buy things that I know we'll eat and we take care of ourselves because I'm an adult and my kids are teenagers. So this would be the meal plan. And then right here, what I should just make note of is like anything specific that's happening that month to recognize like weeks where, and actually I should probably put my custody in here too because that'll be a good reminder to plan meals. So if I put custody here and make a note down here in this column of certain things that are happening, let's do that. I think that's a good idea. All right, and if it looks like I don't have a lot of custody this month, it's because I don't. In the summer, our custody schedule is you know, all over the place because we do extra two week periods like mine is in June. And then we're into the week. I'm not messing with this yet. So let's go to the back and the notes pages. And in the past I had gone ham on my notes pages and not use them. And then there's other times where I just use them to scribble on. And so I'm thinking about leaving the lined ones blank for note taking because I do use the notes in my planner for notes on occasion if I'm at like a specific meeting or something. However, there is a couple of things I wanna add in here. The first one, Mari Mundo posted a picture of this in one of her Facebook groups. And I was like, fuck dude. And so I went and the Instagram account is Crafty D Designs. And the Instagram account is Crafty Designs, and it's a life skills spread teaching my kids to adult. And holy shit, is this not something I want? So I actually want to make it twice, or I guess, no, I'm going to do it once, but put two check boxes, one for each kid. And I think that this is a fantastic, I'm just going to basically copy it. So Crafty Designs, I'll link her down below. I am all done. I'm going to leave this space here. Teaching my kids to adult with the credit to Crafty Designs for the original spread. I took out at least one. I know I took out how to iron clothes. I don't fucking iron clothes, so I don't give a shit. And I added several in here. So for one, one of the things I added for traveling was packing for a trip. I added understanding car insurance and how to drive. I have teenagers, so those things are on my mind. In time management, I put manager schedule. And then I added two categories, one for health. Again, I have chronic illness, so this is on my mind. I put understand insurance language, so things like copay or coinsurance, stuff like that. Um, and then learning which preventative appointments to make, whether they are gynecologist appointments or optometrist appointments or dentist appointments, whatever the case may be. And then for taxes, adulting, which is another section I added, I put understand income tax and what it means. And then understanding what loans and mortgages are, because I had no idea when I was growing up what a mortgage was. My parents didn't own a home and I was... I had no idea how it worked. And so when we bought a house, it was a little bit of a rough ride. And then understanding your credit score is another thing I wanted to put. Now I'm gonna take a second here and check off some of these because as I was doing them, I realized that my kids actually know some of these already as they are 13 and 15. A lot of this has already happened as I am one of those people who enjoys checking off things after I've written them down, like writing things on a list after I've done them already for the sense of completion. I'm gonna do that right now.
got several of these checked off in the household. The kids already do their own laundry, already clean their own bathroom, and already do the dishes every other week. Katie can cook basic meals. RJ can make eggs, but I think I'd like to get him more than making eggs. They both can navigate public transportation. They both actually take the city bus home when they're at their dad's house and they both can pack for a trip because they've been packing for retreats for a couple years now. As for, and like some of these things they know, but they don't know. So I didn't check them off. In the time management section, they both can get themselves up on time. Whether they do it on a consistent basis is another question altogether. And then they both know how to answer the phone. Katie is actually very good at responding to email and doing it well in a way that doesn't look janky. RJ, not so much. He responds to email. I wouldn't say he knows how to do it in a adult kind of way. <laughs> so yeah, so I've made some progress on these already. And this I think is a fantastic spread that I would love to make a big dent in. Katie's going to learn how to drive this year, allegedly. So yay. And then this spread is going to be another two page spread. And what it is going to be is like a combination of things. One of them is the seeds list in the saver planner. I'll link that up above. I reviewed that last week and I loved the idea of a bunch of seeds that you can plant for your projects or your business. And then listening to the Creative Pep Talk podcast, recently he talked about the idea of, I don't remember who it was he said wrote it, but it was like the idea of going out, sitting out to get a hundred rejections. So I have been so stressed out about reaching out to other podcasts to be guests. That's what I'm gonna do is a hundred podcasts to reach out to. So I'm not gonna make that list yet. I have some already listed, but I'm going to make that list on a day when I can sit down and do it for a hundred podcasts to get rejected from as a guest. And I would love for you to leave me in the comments any suggestions or podcasts that I should reach out to to get rejected for as a guest. There we go. That's the spread for the 100. That's a lot of check boxes, but for a whole year, I think that's doable. Now here is this situation. And I've seen a lot of people do some fun shit when it comes to doing this. And I think I want to use this for savings. Jesse and I really want to build up our savings this year. So if I use each of these for a certain amount of savings, I'll talk to him about which one we want to use. Then we can fill these in with hexagon stickers. That's something I saw with Plan with Lake. And I think she got it from somebody else. I'm not sure who though. I want to cover up my pen test. So. so I covered up my pen test with a happy planner sticker. I put savings tracker and it'll be in increments of 500, I think. Although I'll peel that off and change it out if Jesse and I change. Haven't figured out what I want to do with this or these sections. So for now, I think this is actually going to be my setup so far. I will check back in with you. Let me know in the comments if you are changing out your planners for the end of the 2019 academic year. I'd love to hear what planner you're using. Let me know in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already, and I will see you in my next video.